Hello, in today's video we will be creating a repeated text animation that you see on the screen in After Effects. Here we are in After Effects and we will start by selecting text tool. So this one, type in the text, I'll type in stacked and I'll press Ctrl Alt Home to center the anchor point to the text and then Ctrl Home to center it into the screen. And the font I'm using for this text is called Nexa Heavy. Now we will pre-compose this, Ctrl Shift C and name it text. This will be our main text and then duplicate it again. Press enter, rename it to second secondary text. And same over here, we duplicate this as well, Ctrl D and press enter and give it the same name secondary text and while holding alt we drag this over here now i'll go over here right click and change this to green so i can easily differentiate the second text and press p at the beginning set a keyframe to position and move by 12 frames and we will move this up like so and now select the skew frames, press F9 and make an adjustment to the curves like so. Now we, we are going to go and pre-compose this again. So Ctrl Shift C and name this top text and make sure to check this move all attributes into the new composition now i'm gonna recolor this to green so right click green select green and go over here select rectangle tool and i'll mask this like so press f and we will give this a feather so to see the difference i'll give this a 35 so we got some type of shadow look to it and now duplicate it move it up duplicate again move it up duplicate again and after this fourth one we are going to adjust the mask we select this points and then adjust the mask we move it up like so duplicate again we move this up and we can adjust the mask some more duplicate again and then move it up again and we adjust the mask so let's have a look now we are going to set a gap between each of those layers by two frames so select all of those and to do that we use alt and page down to move layers by two frames and now i use control to deselect select all the other ones and press alt and page down twice Control to deselect, alt page down twice and do, do the same thing for the rest of this. Now let's have a look. Looking fine. Now here on this panel, go to top text, double click on it and go to the secondary text double click on it as well and we want to 
make an outline of this text. So right click on this layer and go to create and click on create shapes from text. And now we go to fill and then we give it this yellow color, make, give it a value of two or so, and we take off this fill. We give this stroke value of two and take off the fill for this. So here we get something like that. And when we go back to our composition, we will be having this effect. Now here on this panel, we duplicate this top text as well and rename this to bottom, bottom text. And then we drag this to our project down here and then change the color for it to something different. So I'll pick blue and go inside of this one, press P and now we want to move this down. So I'm just gonna copy the first keyframe for this and then paste over here so it doesn't move up, stays where it is. And then we will move this down like so. And then just make sure the curve is stretched to the left like so. Now we go back to our main project and we want to mask this out. So select rectangle tool and then mask this like so. And for this one as well, press F and then give it a feather of 35. Now duplicate this and move it down. Like so. Duplicate again, move it down. The position, take your time to position this. And after fourth one, we adjust the mask. So we'll click on this points and then we can move this down. Control D, duplicate it and move it down. Control D again and move it down. And adjust the masks if you need to. And now we want to set the gap for this bottom ones as well by two frames. So select all of those, Alt and page down to move the layers by one frame. So I pressed Alt and page down twice to move by two frames. So Control to deselect the last one, Alt page down twice, Control to deselect, Alt and page down and do the same like we've done before. Lastly, I'm gonna change the color for this main text. So go to text layer, select this one and then go over here to color settings and then change this to white. Go back to composition and let's have a look at the end animation. So that's how you do it. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something out of this. If you did, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button as well, and I'll see you on the next video.